Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can use a solid modeling tool that is called Separate. Now, as you can see, I already have this model right here. It's basically a union that I created from a solid part that is added to the level and then added next, I added several elements that were used through the negate option under solid modeling so once again if you're on your home tab you need to go to model and then you'll have your solid modeling with negate i created basically these holes to make some kind of a wall let's call it like that with this being an entrance and this being windows i know it's fabulous but still bear with me and then i merged all of these in a union as you can see here when i selected here is the same union so how do I use separate well separate parts from a fused or intersected section is a feature that allows you to do just that you click on the model and go for separate and you get your negative parts one and three do it again and you get the previous negative part that I used to cut out basically the entrance so if I go back and just keep these elements I can then simply select these and turn off negate or do it again and with these selected I can turn off negate and this again turn off negate and then I again have these solid models once again here that make up the windows then if I select it again and go again fit separate I have my last element here turn off negate and move it out so that I have all of the three elements that I use through the negate function to get this whatever that might be a wall kind of structure but through the use of separate I can then break them down into their original parts that are all again accessible as regular parts that you can find in your explorer as well so there you go that's how you use separate option under solid modeling pretty easy pretty straightforward pretty simple you just need to select the right things and then turn off turn on a gate as you'd like but that's basically the functionality that's it for this tutorial hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it interesting if you did please consider supporting me through subscribing and being here for my new clips of course there are other means to support me you can check out my patreon page you can check out my channel memberships you can check out my books on amazon cheapest easiest fastest way to do it though is to subscribe and be here for my new clips that's all for me thanks again for watching my name is Ivica have a great day have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures and I'll see you on my new tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.